means then that we then um, thank the Mayor for his attendance because the Assembly uh, members have decided they have no they don't questions want to, scrutinize. to put to you. Are you saying they're abdicating their duty Thank to scrutinise me? Okay. Are you saying they, don't, okay. they haven't the guts Let's to put questions to, to me? What Great is it, um, supine protoplasmic invertebrate jellies. Volunteers clean up a river in the capital, marking... It was all going well, <laughs> and then not so well. And, and then the best really bit. badly. This is the best bit. He actually pulls okay. down the volunteer with him. <laughs> Uh, uh, we've got to replay that picture. I, I, I will be meeting Hillary Clinton later, despite what he'd said about her in 2007 in a Daily Telegraph article. She's got dyed blonde hair, pouty lips and a steely blue stare, like a sadistic mental health nurse. And you went on to say she represents everything I came into politics to oppose. Well, as, uh, as I'm sure you'll accept the Senators are very distinguished politicians. I'm sure she will take those words in the light-hearted spirit. Okay, yeah. Hi folks, Boris Johnson, Foreign Secretary. I'm here in Lisbon, in Portugal, to celebrate what is the oldest alliance and friendship in diplomatic history. Going back to 1386, going forward through the Napoleonic Wars, through to the Second World War, where of course this was a, a place that uh, was uh, I'm trying to think what, what happened in the Second World War. <laughs> what, what, what do we do in the Second World War? It, it was neutral, wasn't it? The Azores. What do we do in the Azores? <laughs> Hi, folks. I'm Boris Johnson. I'm the Foreign Secretary. I'm here in Lisbon. Portugal is our fourth biggest trading partner. Trading partner. We, are, we are Portugal's fourth largest. Portugal is not our fourth largest. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hi, folks. Boris Johnson. I'm here in Lisbon. James Bond himself was said to have been born in Esteril. And today... James Bond. <laughs> See, he wasn't like, born. Okay. Well, you can't put one thing in my brain. No, 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 I know. The, 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 idea, the idea for James Bond was born. The idea for, the James, idea Bond idea for James Bond was born. born. It's a great friendship. It's a great partnership. It's built on shared values, and we're going to take it forward. Oh! <laughs> 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 Right, so sorry. On the passing of, of some of these games, some of the some of the sports, for instance, the Pankration, uh, uh, whose chief exponent was Milo of Croton, uh, who, whose signature performance involved carrying an ox the length of the stadium, killing it with his bare hands, and then eating it all on the same day. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm trying to persuade uh, Seb and the Prime Minister and, and Tessa and Lokog to get it to, to bring that one back. Uh, but they will find this unchanged, this unchanged, that every single, or virtually every single one of our international sports were either invented or codified by the British. And they were. And I say this, I say this respectfully to our Chinese hosts who have excelled so magnificently at ping pong. Uh, ping pong was invented on the dining tables of England. Ladies and gentlemen, in the 19th century, it was, and it was called Whiff Waff. And there I think you have the essential difference between us and the rest of the world. Other nations, the French, looked at a dining table and saw an opportunity to have dinner. We looked at a dining table and saw an opportunity to play Whiff Waff. And that is why, that is why London is the sporting capital of the world. And I say to the Chinese, and I say to the world, ping pong, is coming home. <laughs> athletics, athletics, athletics is coming home. Athletics is coming home. Sport is coming home. And we are going to give those sports an Olympic Games to do Britain proud, to do London proud, and to do the world proud. Thank you very much. <laughs> Um, very, very quick stuff um, on your yeah. on your on your personal lifestyle. What do you do to relax? What do you do to switch off? Uh, I I well, I like to paint um, or I make things. I like to. What do you make? I make. I have a thing where I make models of. I mean, when I was in like well, Mayor of London, we build a beautiful. I make buses. You make models of buses. I make models of buses. So they're going to be do, in Downing Street. So, so what I do, no, what I do make models of buses, but what I, I make is, I get, I get old, um, I don't know, cr wooden crates. Yeah. Right? 
and then I paint them. And they uh, and they have two. two I suppose it's a wine. It's a box that's been used to contain two two wine bottles, right? Right. And it will have a, 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 a dividing thing. Yeah. And I turn it into a bus, and I so I put, I put passengers. You really want to know this? You're making, you the, you're making buses. Yeah, you're I making paint, cardboard I, buses. I paint, no, okay, I that's paint, what you do to enjoy yourself. I paint, no, I paint no. the passengers enjoying themselves okay, great. on the wonderful bus. Great. Low carbon what? of a kind that we brought to the streets of London, uh, reducing if, CO2, if, if reducing nitrous if, oxide, reducing pollution. If, if you weren't and, and When the Prime Minister met uh, President Donald Trump last week, did she do as the Foreign Secretary suggested and ask him to take over the Brexit negotiations? 